My name is Deb Shoemaker and I'm an art therapist with Integrated Therapy Associates and I would like to talk with you a little bit today about how art therapy can help people, especially adults, who have a depression. Well, one, one directive that I use quite often in my art therapy sessions with people is to draw a mandala, which is a drawing in the round. And it, it, mandalas represent self and it's a great way to begin a session or a therapeutic relationship because people are able to create um, an image of self. And also I, in that original directives, I try to um, include and encourage creating um, a safe place, especially if we're working with trauma, traumatic events or trauma or um, things that are, have been devastating to someone in their life. Before we launch into working on that deeper level work, um, having that safe place already created, literally created in their portfolio, and also it's created into, in their imagination. So it'll be easier to call up that safe place when it's needed later on in the therapy sessions. Um, another directive that I use is a, uh, kind of a, a dual uh, image and I may have them fold the paper in half and something I like and something I don't like and and maybe right at the top of one side I like it when blank dot 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 and then they create an image of something that they like when and then on the other side I don't like it when dot 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 and then they create an image on that side and that kind of shows a contrast of what's going on in their life and also it helps give them a visual to see the differences and uh, maybe tap into um, the things that they can change about what they don't like or what they what they can't change about it but but acknowledging it and validating. Remember to always consult with a professional art therapist for more information.